All right, let's talk some markets now. The market is down 0.06% today. Again, as we have MRS, we have Triple G, Living Trust, ICO, Insurance, and we have up UPD Credit. We have Losers, we have Veritas Cap, we have Link Ashore, International Beauties, Transcorp, uh, GPLC. F Young Cup is already seated. F Young, how is it going? The market is down for a few days to the polls. We are discussing. You understand? The market works on information, and everything around the economy, around the society, you know, talks negative. And so, those who go to the markets, they are bringing negative information to you know, the, the the place, and um, they are not even happy while trading. When they are returning from the market, they are not happy, you know, going. So everything is negative and the market is sensing that. That's the reason we are trading downward. And again, upon that, uh, investors that had been cautious in trading for some days, some of them are also applying to see how they take money out of their investment uh, before the elections so that they hold cash that uh, we are not even seeing, very, so maybe in the electronic form. So the market itself, from uh, uh, seeing a cautious behavior, we are seeing it trading in the negative territory and in the flat uh, zone. So I think that uh, this is the second time we've seen it, and it will remain like this until we do the election. Some of the companies all around, including the banks, insurance, and some other sectors, they are sharing in the negative uh, uh, trend that uh, the market is uh, throwing up. And so we are hoping that things that are clouding yeah. the, the environment be cleared so that there is enthusiasm and there is enthusiasm. Let, let, let's talk to Mr. Paul Ozum, who let him bear his mind on all of this. Mr. Ozum, you have the floor. Even though market turnover was a little bit impressive, we did as much as $3 billion, which we deem to be fair for the market during this time of the year. We are just some few days to election, and um, the focus of all investors is on the election. Nobody is so sure, nobody is so sure of what is the way the political pendulum is, is swing. And um, because of that, many investors are being cautious in their investment and decisions. They are taking um, a very cautious approach to trading. Uh, everybody, this is the ice, ice, it affects of the political risk, and we expect that this political risk should, would dissipate after the election. Meanwhile, many companies which we had expected, which ordinarily by now would have been um, publishing their um, corporate actions as a result of their financial acts, are delaying it on the after the results. We're expecting some corporate news from corporate, corporate uh, for a number of companies, and these companies are um, delaying such. Um, um, information on the um, on the after the election. They also want to see the outcome of the election before um, they take um, action. So we expect that what the market expects is that the election will be peaceful and will be, um, and will be credible, which would um, improve on level of investors' confidence after the uh, after the election and lead to a market rally. Um, in, on a on a broad macroeconomic um, perspective, um, though, even though the uh, economic conditions. I work in the fundamentals are still weak. Several companies are still doing very well. Uh, we still have the banks that uh, are uh, reporting fantastic profit. The, the agricultural companies, notably uh, Okumu Oil and Fresco, as well as the oil and gas companies. This year seems to be a year for oil and gas companies. Um, even the number of them that we are not making profit in previous years are making really posting fantastic numbers. Because this uh, Conoyer, Con company like Conoyer, posting as much as 8 million uh, MS per share. So the investors expect that a large portion of that uh, amount end will translate to dividends. Even the right. uh, MRS has not made profit for so long as um, turned reverted to profitability. We are seeing strong numbers coming from total. So it's all over, all over the oil and gas space. However, investors are waiting to after this election before they take um, severe action. So they would, we saw uh, MRS gaining the maximum today, 10%, and we expect that uh, we might see some further uptick in the oil and gas. I must thank you so much for the detailed analysis there, Mr. Paul Ozum. Do enjoy the rest of your day. A parting shot from you, please. Ordinarily, any time that we have an election, the market stays very weak and very, very cautious. But as we have had um, 
additional negative issue of uh, this fuel crisis yeah. and uh, uh, currency, uh, Naira crisis, you see that the market is being even more sensitive you know, to the negative uh, territory things. So we have to accept it and then see how it is worked out by the authorities. All right, I must thank you so much, Efendi, for your time on the show. As usual. Sure.